How do you feel when you open your code editor? I feel a lot less excited than I used to be. This video is more for me to tell myself what to change, but maybe you might find it helpful. The way we think about and approach coding has changed a lot over the past few years. There's a lot of new tooling, methodologies, and just cool stuff on the horizon. But why doesn't it feel as exciting as it should be? And more importantly, what can you do if you feel this way? The short answer is there's nothing you can do, which is why I'm pivoting this channel to be about my second passion, which is baking. Look out for my next video where I tell you how to make the perfect brownies. <laughs> I think the main reason why coding isn't as fun anymore is because you're not allowing yourself to feel challenged. And for something to be fun kind of requires it to be a bit challenging. That's why your mom still enjoys playing Candy Crush. That game gets really hard. I used to spend hours figuring out errors and internalizing new concepts, but now I just want to get things done fast. I justify this by claiming that it's more productive, but it's hindering my overall progress because learning isn't supposed to be productive. It's an inherently slow, messy, and frustrating process. Avoiding this, hurts you in the long term. The scary part is that this change from valuing struggle to all of a sudden seeking quick fixes is very gradual. I almost want to say that I noticed myself slipping. One prompt here, one mindless copy paste there, and things start to feel hollow. And I'm left wondering if this is all there is. Shouldn't I be doing more at this point? Now, I'm speaking from the perspective of a computer science student in their final year. Well, final couple of months, really. And I've been thinking a lot about what makes me useful to the world. And, you know, I don't, I don't think knowing how to code is an intrinsically valuable skill. Because anyone who can open a can of beef can learn syntax. And these days, for the most part, AI can write perfectly sound code faster than I can type a variable name. What is valuable is knowing what problems to solve and how to apply code to solve them well. The brainstorming, the design, the putting different pieces together, that's fun. And if you keep your head down in school or work for too long, you kind of forget that. And that's how you fall out of love with something that once excited you. But you can get that feeling back. School and work don't always give you the opportunity to work on interesting, novel things. But that's exactly what you need to be doing in order to keep that fire alive. Why did you start coding in the first place? I'd imagine it's because you like making things. So do more of that. Work on side projects. Lack of time is never an excuse. The best part about side projects is that they're so low stakes that the pressure of being productive falls away and you can enjoy the struggle towards finding a solution again. Just please don't work on Mickey Mouse projects. Unless of course you're a beginner, then you get a pass. Otherwise, find something that interests you and build around that because that's how you actually finish projects, by working on things that you find interesting, not some tutorial online. Look at the first video on this channel. It's stupid, but I had a lot of fun making it. And I can say the same for every other video on here. You need to allow yourself to make things just because you want to. Subscribe and thank you for your time. Also, if you want to see that video about how to make brownies, let me know because they are very, very, very good.